you go. Nothing can be solved by restraining yourself. Understand? Then I'll gladly lend you my strength. Hey guys, today I'm here to gush about a game that I love that got released on Steam not too long ago. This game is Persona 5 Royal, one of the most popular JRPGs to be released in the past decade. And I'm here to review it and maybe convince you to get it. As you can tell from the intro, I am sold on this game. But now let's talk about why you should pay attention to it. The game was originally released as Persona 5 in 2016. But like all its predecessors, it received an extended version, which included some quality of life improvements. Jump him. Persona 5 Royal had sold 3.3 million copies within a month of being ported to Steam. No small feat if you ask me. But I'm sure the numbers mean nothing to us consumers. So let's talk about the game. Let's begin, starting with the story. You'll be playing as a Japanese high school student who got falsely accused of a crime. And as a newly certified delinquent, you try to lay low and stay out of trouble. Except trouble finds you. All around your main character are nasty adults and you discover their misdeeds and corruptions. And this can be some serious stuff, which I mean are not kid friendly. And I repeat, not kid friendly. Okay, with that warning out of the way, let's talk about how we're going to solve these issues. It's very simple. Steal their hearts. What does that mean? I'm not going to spoil it for you, but I'm, this is what I'm going to say. That's the fun part. I'm counting on you, everyone. Let's move on to the gameplay. The game is a JRPG, a Japanese role-playing game, which means that it comes with a huge serving of simulated daily life. And if you're all about the action, it may seem a little bit boring. But for me though, I think that it's immersive and it actually draws me more into the story. You can go around doing stuff as mundane as studying, taking the train to get to places, eating at a buffet, watching a movie, or even try a bit of baseball at the betting cage. And these activities do come with rewards in the form of stat improvements. Even chatting with certain characters can help you progress throughout the game. And that's not all. There is a lot of action in this game, and it gets pretty tough especially near the end. But not to worry because the game comes with many difficulty levels to suit your preference. Just adjust to what your needs. Let's go, already hitting me. Oh, oh, you're, you're best so a game that has a good story also needs compelling characters. And as far as I'm concerned, Persona 5 Royal delivers in this aspect with main characters that all come with compelling and engaging backstories and baggage. I do have one minor complaint which involves a major character. This bloody annoying cat called Morgana who is almost always with your main character. But even with this cat, you get an A plus story that makes you want to root for him as the story progresses. Persona 5 Royal looks and sounds amazing. The art direction is excellent, which should be no surprise to anyone who's ever enjoyed an Atlas game. The visual style of the combat side of the game oozes energy with colors that pop, while in Tokyo we have a more of an anime style grounded in more realistic colors. Character designs are distinct and memorable, especially with the main cast in and outside of combat. The soundtrack for this game is amazing. 
be it area of the soul for the velvet room or take over that place during battles. Every track could find its way into your playlist of favorite gaming tunes. No joke, some of my friends even play the soundtrack when studying or even working. So what is different about Persona 5 Royal compared to the original Persona 5? Well, there are a lot of things. Where do I start? First, we can talk about how now you have a grappling hook which allows you to swing from corner to corner of the palace and there are new puzzles implemented within the palace to give you more verticality. So there's quite a bit of modification there already. Not only that, do you get you also get two new confidants, which are new storylines you can speak through, learn about these characters, and they also give you new benefits. And then we also have two new characters that can join your party permanently near the end of the game. And if that didn't sell you on it, there is a whole new palace somewhere in the game I won't talk about yet. Because spoilers. And other than that, the rest are all minor changes. You you get access to like one of the strongest personas in the game for free. You know, you get cosmetic changes that also change your combat music. Nothing much, right? But those are the big changes. And I say, are they worth it? For me, most definitely yes. I read this game 10 Jokers out of 10 Morganas out of 10 Bananas. In short, get the game. If you love story-heavy games and well-written characters, this is a no-brainer. And what's more, it has excellent replay value. And that's on top of the fact that it's a massive amount of gameplay content. And if your worry is about the price, well, I would advise you go and steal someone's heart and get them to buy for you the game. I mean, Phantom Steve style. So that's it for this week. Tell me what you think about Persona 5 Royal in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, leave me a like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button. With that said, this is Derek out. Keep gaming for Singapore One.